It is time to save the bees. It is nothing new, but it is more urgent than ever. Wait, but why? Bees pollinate fruits, vegetables, nuts and herbs. 85% of agriculture yields are dependent on pollination by bees. The economic benefit of bees is estimated at about 256 billion euros per year worldwide. So the bee is one of the most important pollinators on the planet. Means the ecosystem. Us humans and animals need bees in order to survive. In some regions of the world, bees have already completely disappeared. And in parts of China, bees are already completely gone. Now people have to pollinate by hand. What? So what can we do to help the bees? Plant bees friendly plants like wildflower meadows, fruit trees or window boxes as a little safe haven in a city. Some cities and farmers sow fields, parks or roundabouts with wildflowers to create a little playground for insects. Buy food from farmers who grow a variation of plants. Don't cover the world with concrete. Plant. Avoid using pesticides in the garden and household. Try to avoid buying monoculture food. The poisonous pesticides tribute the beast's sense of orientation, memory and immune system. They don't find their hive anymore and the whole bee colony may collapse. There are many other options like organic or bio products and simple organic tips and tricks. It doesn't only help the bees, it is also better for the soil, groundwater and our health. Offer a home to bees, like an insect house or a bee or buck hotel, or like my parents did. Don't remove the trunk of an old tree, let it stay so wild bees can inhabit it as their new home. Sometimes bees and bumblebees get lost in our apartment, weak and powerless. So I save them and feed them with a bit of honey and water. Or donate to organizations that support and promote sustainable projects and be in insect savers. But not only bees, also other insects need more tolerance and a place to live. Live and let live. Save the small things that run the world.